So I've been watching Wheezy Waiter videos quite a lot lately, as one does. Wheezy Waiter does videos that are of varying types. Sometimes they're more comedic, sometimes they're more down to earth. Sometimes he does, and lately he's been doing a lot of month long challenges with his wife. Watching his videos inspired me, or at least reminded me, to try to take another crack at making videos on YouTube here. I've been making videos on YouTube for seven years, on and off, on different channels, of varying types of videos. And so I'm gonna talk about my experience, my journey on YouTube throughout the years, and I'm gonna talk about that. So it started seven years ago with my first video, which was a Minecraft video, actually. It was on 11-11-11, November 11th, 2011, for those of you who don't understand dates, I guess. At the time, I'm pretty sure I was inspired by the Yogg's cast, which made a bunch of series of Minecraft videos that I found very interesting, I found very fun to watch. And so their channel, those videos, and probably other videos as well, inspired me to try to take a crack at it myself. Because I was like, oh, here's all these YouTubers who are making these Minecraft videos. Maybe I could try it too. Maybe I could do it too. Whatever you think of Minecraft, you have to admit that at the time, it was very popular on YouTube and the world over as well, such that many Minecraft channels were able to take off dramatically. And it's not only a game that I really enjoyed playing, but I really enjoyed making videos of me playing it and posting those to YouTube. I really enjoyed that. And so I did that from about 2011 to 2012, and I made quite a few videos. So I did that, and then I transitioned to other types of content, such as commentaries and playthroughs of games like Call of Duty and Halo, where I was inspired by multiple content creators at the time. There were a bunch of YouTubers at the time who were making those types of videos, and I can't remember who they were right now. It was a long time ago, but there were a lot that inspired me. And while Wheezy Waiter may have inspired me, or at least reminded me, to take another crack at making a video like this, there are other YouTubers over the past few years that have done the same thing, inspired me to do it, which is like Vsauce 1, 2, and 3, run by Michael Stevens, Kevin Lieber, and Jake Groper, respectively, and they make videos similar to this of, you know, talking at the camera type of video. Obviously, they make videos of varying types, uh, but they share the commonality of this talking at the camera type of video, which I prefer right now. I actually tried to make videos that were in nearly exactly the same style as Vsauce a few years ago, and I didn't end up finishing them because mainly those videos just didn't really work for me, but it also didn't help that I didn't know what I was doing. That, that, that too. So those are a few examples of me being inspired to make videos and then me trying different types of videos and then failing because those videos just didn't work for me. Another example of me trying a different type of video and also being inspired to make that type of video is two videos that I've made a few years back in a style of CGP Grey because I watched a bunch of his videos and I was inspired to make something similar to that. CGP Grey makes videos about like governments, countries, borders, and stuff like that, and they're not talking at the camera type videos. They're a little different. I can't really describe it, but you can go watch a video and you can see what that, those are like. One of the videos was about the difference between islands and isles, and the other video was about the British Isles and what they were. The thing with these videos is they're actually pretty good videos. They're pretty decent videos. They're pretty well made. They are informative, but I decided to not continue doing them. So I could have kept making those videos and they would have gotten better and better over time, especially because you could audibly hear my lisp from my braces at the time. And I also mispronounced the Isle of Guernsey as Guernsey. Obviously looking back makes me cringe a little bit, but you know, they would have gotten better and better anyways. But I decided not to continue doing them because they just didn't work for me. Look, looking back, I remember thinking that, you know what, these are good videos, but I don't really, this isn't something I'm interested in doing. So that's just another example of a type of video that I tried, I was inspired to do it, but it didn't work out for me. So I think one of the main points in this video is that this video is just another example of a type of video that I'm attempting to make. That is a video where I'm talking at the camera, being real, talking about something that actually interests me. Because honestly, looking back and currently now, I don't really care about the difference between an island and an isle. And I don't really care too much about the British Isles. I mean, British Isles are cool and all, but like, that's not my main interest. If it was about, say, physics, my major in college, then I might you know, be more interested in that. But currently, I really don't care about islands and isles. So I think one of the main reasons why I didn't make that video is because, yes, it didn't interest me. And I think that's something to take away here is if you're going to make something, if you're going to do something, if you can, if you can help it, do something or make something that you like, that you love. Don't make something that you don't like, because I think you're just going to regret it in the long run. So to me, there is no point in doing something that you don't like if you have the ability to do something that you like. So I'm trying this type of video with me talking at the camera, being real and not too fake or animated, like the last time I attempted to make this video or attempted to make a video a few days ago. 
like I have for seven years before now, this is just another video that I'm trying and hopefully it works for me and hopefully it turns out to be a good video as well. But if it doesn't work out, then so be it. I'll try something else eventually. But the thing about talking at the camera being mostly myself is I think there's a lot of freedom in that. But most importantly, I don't have to work any harder than I need to to try to create some fake personality or something. So I hope you got something from this video. It took me seven years to find something that I actually like to make, assuming I liked making this video. So two main points in this video. I think the first is this is just another attempt at a video that I'm trying to make and hopefully it goes well and this could spawn a whole bunch of videos that I can make. The first point might not apply to you as much. That's mostly about me. But the second point I think might try, if you can, to make or do something that you love and you like. Obviously, that's not always possible. Sometimes you need to work a job that you hate just to provide for your family. But if you can, if you can help it, if you have the opportunity to do something you love instead of something you don't like, you should do it. And I think you will thank yourself in the future for that. So do something you love and not what you hate. I think that's the big message here. And you will thank yourself.